Zoom, 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 uh, zoom, world. You call the tune. Hi, bye, for bogs. Wubble, kabum, tubbo, zaboom, world. Mubba, nubbum, abuz, dubba, yubble. That means my name is Duel, welcoming you to Zoom World, a fun filled YouTube channel devoted to Zoom, both the classic and reboot series. I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be giving to you my brief thoughts on the next to last season, aka season 6, of the reboot Zoom. And you're going to see three familiar faces from the previous season, plus four new additions. Two new guys, two new gals. I'm looking forward to doing this. I recently watched the whole series. Now, you'll get the final season next time, next week, okay? Due to me having a couple of special videos coming up next. But anyway, I'm going to try and go really quick if I can, alright? So, sit back, relax, and here we go. Stand by. Okay, here we go. Well, Mike's back, and you can see he's a little bit more different than he was in the previous season. Now, his hair's darker, and he's got glasses on. But just like last time, he's still pretty funny and what have you. He is absolutely a real funny guy. He did lots of fun things. Probably won't mention too much this time, because I want to go quick with this one, unlike what I did with the other ones. Just like last time, Courtney is absolutely very funny still, and, well, she had a lot to offer, especially with, um, Zoom Psy and what have you. I also liked how she played, um, a fairy godmother in the final part of the Red Bench, because they did the Red Bench again, only this time they did um, it with um, fairy tale characters, and, well, Corny played the fairy godmother who moved the Red Bench with a little magic. Corny's just still funny. Now, here's one of our first new Zoomers, and that's Francesco. Now, I found out this guy is of um, Mexican descent. Now, I'm like Estuardo, which I found out he's um, of Guatemalan descent, but Francesco's of Mexican descent. Anyway, I think Francesco's pretty cool. Um, one of the fun things I liked about him was um, he was the host of a parody of Antiques Roadshow, which, of course, was also produced by the same... PBS station that did Zoom, WGBH Boston. I think that was pretty cool, of course, except the people that were selling the antiques and why have you were speaking in WW, Zoom's secret language. He'd go on to be a part of the cast for the next season. Next is Kara. I think she's pretty cute. Well, unfortunately, she was only on for this season, but I liked her. Now, one thing I liked about her was she um, played this storyteller in a Zoom Playhouse segment where she showed off um, all sorts of um, characters who, well, what they were like before their happy endings and what have you. Anyway, Kara's pretty good. Next is Kyle. Now, like Francesco, he'd go on to be a part of the last season as well. He's pretty funny and what have you. And he had a lot to offer. He did um a little something with, well, a Zoomer you'll see in just a little bit called the the um, Jim and Judy show. It was a silly well, skid-like thing that was a, like a, an old-school sitcom and what have you. I gotta say, that was really something. Kyle is definitely really, really a cool guy. Then there's Maya. She's cute and what have you. I loved what she had to offer, and I gotta say, she really surprised me in playing, um, Donning the Goldilocks wig for um, Red Bench's final part. That was absolutely really funny. But she was so incredible with her on this. Because this was her only season though. Maya's still pretty cute and funny. 
just like last time, Xingying is still a great gown. And believe me, I loved her in this season. Now, she was the half of, of Jim and Judy with Kyle. Of course, they'd also go on to do that in the final season. Of course, as I mentioned in the last video, uh, well, in the previous season, Xingying would go on to be a part of this cast and the next season. I gotta say, again, like last time, Xingying is still funny. She is probably one of the cutest Zoomers ever. And, well, I sort of did a ranking. Xingying's my third favorite reboot Zoomer gal. Right behind Caroline, who of course left. But, however, she did pay a visit on the set, though. But we didn't get to see on the show, unfortunately. And, and of course, Kaylee came in second. But nevertheless, Xingying, definitely very, very funny. Now, I got into this a little quickly, so if you haven't seen the other parts, you can still check those out. But anyway, that's going to do it for this, and I hope you like this. If you like this, click the like button, subscribe, and if YouTube will let you, comment on this. And subscribe to be a part of Zoom World. And next time I'll be bringing to you the first of two special things for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you're ready for them. And and the finals and my brief thoughts on the final season will be coming up next week. So until next time, this is your friend Duel saying see ya.